So I've got an empty oil container here. This is a alternate method um, as to the extraction pumps. Um, I'm going to go get myself an extraction extraction pump, but I have been using this syringe setup for quite a few years now. A little bit more time consuming, but it's literally like a, um, a metal brake line rod. It's got like a few little bends in it that I've put in there, so that when you um, when you Put it down where the oil cap was. Um, I've just been sitting here at the moment, so once you remove the uh, oil filler cap, I sit it there just for the time being. Um, basically, you can extract by using the syringe, which is connected through that rubber tube onto the steel tube. A um, bit more difficult to do with um, one hand while I'm recording here, but it um, sucks the oil right out of the bottom and then um, then when you uh, bring it all up once again a little bit more difficult to do while while I'm uh, videoing but generally come up the top here squeeze it all down and I'm making a little bit of a mess of this because this is not how I normally do it one-handed. I normally use two hands, hold everything nicely in place. And there, it's emptied out of here, down into there, and then I repeat the process. Uh, once this one's been emptied out and the metal tube allows you to get right down to the bottom, so it's quite handy, um, then you go around to the, uh, the back of the motor and um, pretty well everybody with Aquatrax knows um, the little bit that's down in here that's at the back of the motor unscrew that and then you also have to extract the oil out of there um, I can't quite see it here I should have grabbed the torch um, but it's, yeah in this particular model it's just underneath the turbo area there and um, you'll see a little black um, cap that you unscrew and again you can use that syringe method to put the tube down in there and suck all the oil out. Um, as I mentioned before I've done this numerous times on the Honda Aquatraxes and it's uh, a handy way to um, extract all the oil out um, with one of these syringe setups. Uh, if you don't have a uh, extraction pump of any sort um, and then on the oil cans as well, the oil containers. It's got readings on the side so you can even work out what measurement of oil you've actually taken out of there um, reasonably accurately as well. Hope you found this helpful. So as you can see, um, down in at the back of the motor I've got a torch there now. So underneath the turbo, what I'm knocking against here, that is the, uh, the black cap on the tube that goes down into the uh, bottom of the motor there, into the sump area. Uh, so that's the one you need to unscrew and uh, extract the oil out of after you've finished doing the front section. And here it is from underneath the, um, the air box, underneath uh, the fuel lines and all that. Um, uh, and where the intercooler is near, usually sitting is where I've got the camera right at this moment. So I'm looking towards uh, the back of the motor where the, uh, the pump uh, impeller setup is. Uh, so there's a clear view of that tube with the black um, cap on top, which is where you drain the oil from at a later stage once you've finished that front section as mentioned. Just a quick update. Um, once you've made the appropriate bends in the uh, brake line tube so that you can get it to direct itself straight down into the uh, the very bottom of the, um, the oil gallery. Um, basically you can extract the oil through the syringe like I was showing before. Um, uh, stand by. I'll 
I manipulate this again with um, one hand. It's not going to work too well. It pressure, sucking pressure will bring out the tube. Um, and then instead of pulling this back out, simply remove it from the end there, squirt it down in your container. And then push this back on the end again and repeat this process over and over uh, until you have no more oil coming out. Um, it's difficult to do with one hand so I'll stop here now but at least you get more of an idea of what's involved and you can just pull the uh, syringe off the end of the tube and uh, keep going backwards and forwards until you're pretty well getting no more oil sucking up in here and then you start at the back of the moat. No real science to this, you can see that the um, syringe is hooked into the equivalent of um, vacuum hose or washer bottle hose for cars, then into the, uh, the brake line equivalent. And when I hold it up here, um, as I mentioned, there's no science to this, you just do approximate bends to make it go, in particular, for the front section of the motor. Um, so you can slowly but surely tweak little bits of it and then you'll find a sweet spot where it'll just drop straight down into the bottom and then as you saw me before I'm just removing the uh, syringe bit. Um, this syringe is a 20mm syringe and when you're using two hands and doing it um, it's a rather quick method. I've got um, between um, half a litre to a litre, so 500ml to 1000ml. Um, already out of the front section and I'm about to move on to the rear section. You just put a piece of um, flexible tube again onto this um, syringe for the back section um, because it allows you to uh, flex accordingly as opposed to the front section where I had the uh, firm piece of um, metal brake line. 